AlexWindowCleaner.com. Here I am with the Tucker 4060. Tucker 4060 is a four stage water filtration system. It is a dual RO system. So what that means is you don't really need to use a pump. You can add a pump if you want, but you don't really need to use a pump. With the two ROs, you'll be able to put out about twice as much water as a standard single 40 inch RO system. These RO membranes, as well as the other filters, the carbon and the DI, are 30 inch inserts. So you have a total of about 60 inches of RO membrane. Tucker uses an ultra low pressure RO membrane in this unit. So even with lower incoming water pressure, you'll still be able to get a good amount of volume and good pressure out, enough that you won't need to use a pump to run this three, four stories through a couple hundred feet of hose, no problem. Let's take a look at the filter orientation on this. Up front, you have your carbon and your DI filter. These are gonna be replaced more frequently than the RO membranes, which are in the back. Here are the two 30 inch RO membranes. Looking at the system from the side, you can see it has large wheels. These are not air filled. These are a harder wheel, so you're not gonna get flat spots on these wheels. You also have a pressure gauge. This is monitoring the pressure out of the carbon filter before the RO membranes. It's really important when it comes to troubleshooting and just knowing what you're operating with. On the other side of the 4060, you will see the bypass valve. This is important. When you first start the unit up, you're gonna run with this wide open. After a few minutes, you're gonna close this and it's gonna build pressure and run through the DI and start making pure water. When you first get your 4060, something really important to note is that the carbon filter is not connected to the RO membranes. It's very important to first thing with a brand new unit is flush your carbon filter. This is loose carbon dust essentially inside there. So you're gonna hook up to the bottom. I'll show you where those inlets are. You're gonna remove this white plug and you're gonna expel several gallons of, of black water. Let it run for a few minutes, five minutes or so. You only have to do that one time when the unit's brand new. Once that starts to run clear, simply connect to your RO membranes and you're good to start making pure water. The plumbing for the 4060 is located on the bottom. To operate the unit, simply lay it down and you'll see your inlet, outlet, and where your wastewater comes out. And they are actually labeled, it's pretty simple, but female garden hose thread for the inlet, that's gonna go right to your carbon filter first. The outlet is right from the DI, so that's gonna get the water filtered through the RO membranes then the DI hook up right there, and then your waste or bypass water is gonna hook up right here, come to the short six foot hose, garden hose thread to connect it and just move it away from the system. When it comes to changing the inserts or the filters in these housings on a 4060, it's really simple, cool idea. All you have to do is disconnect any of the hoses, remove the metal U-bolt, insert it into the top cap, and just pry it open. There you'll have access to this happens to be the DI. Just take a little pair of pliers, pull that insert out, throw it away, put a new one in. It goes together just as easy as it came apart. Just like that, you change the filter and you're back up and running. Thanks for checking out the Tucker 4060. It's available at windowcleaner.com.